Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be going over Ergo, which was requested by someone in the comments. I'm going to be giving my personal price predictions on this, and um, let's dive in. So, the first thing I want to mention is this key level around four dollars. It served as a major inflection point in the past. You can see how that was basically what capped this massive rally right here for a few months and it was also where we turned around and bounced about 400 percent right here and ever since you know it's been a it's been a slow bleed down as the market's been a bit bearish and um you know just recently we've popped right back above it and we're starting to make some progress we're starting to look a lot better we've definitely concluded this massive downtrend and we're starting something new whether it's um, off back up to these highs in a very slow and consistent uptrend or if we just chop sideways, we'll have to wait and see. But it does look a lot better. I would be cautious if you are in this. Um, one thing I touched on in my last video on Cardano is that, you know, with altcoins, they're much smaller in market cap, much less volume. And, you you know, you got to you gotta be careful with stuff that is much smaller because you know as you see right it can it can like the potential upside you know you can get up these 7000 percent returns but also you can also lose 86 percent over a few months so definitely a lot riskier please be cautious if you're investing in this i would not go all in on your portfolio with this because you're going to be in for a wild ride right um the volatility on this is way higher than bitcoin so you know, if, if you're in this, just be cautious, be aware that you could see that volatility and um, it might not go your way in the short term, but if you stick around, it, it'll probably work out for you in the long term. So um, if we were to go back up to these highs, which is already a crazy rally, right? That would be a 340% return. Um, I think that's definitely manageable. I think the high... You know, if Bitcoin is going to 100K, 120K, then obviously this can definitely exceed these highs and, and continue on. Um, it depends on the market in general, but, you know, if if we're looking at, um, actually I have the, there you go, Bitcoin chart pulled up right here. If we were to make it back up to these levels, about 0 0.0004, that would be, that would be a lot, guys. So. Um, to put that in perspective, 0 0.0004 is like a lot. So if Bitcoin were to go back up to, you know, $70,000, 0 0.0004, that would be a $28 ergo. So obviously that would already exceed these highs and put us up pretty high. Um, but I think Bitcoin can probably go higher, uh, you know, at the end of the market cycle, I think. 100,000, 120,000. That's very realistic. That's, you know, that's a reasonable target for Bitcoin, which means, you know, if we get back up to these levels, which is entirely possible, we do have, we could be having a very large base right here, like a very, very long, you know, rounding off pattern. Um, but if we did go to 0 0.004 at $100,000 Bitcoin, that could take us up to $40. Which, guys, I think that's totally reasonable. I think that's manageable. Um, obviously not this week, not this month, maybe not even this year. You guys got to give it time. You got to be patient with this. Um, so, you know, if, if that's something you're looking out for, don't, don't get shaken out over the day-to-day -day moves. If you're not a day trader, don't act like one. Um, if you believe in the project, you see the vision, there's really no reason to get shaken out over something like a sorry about that something like a 20 percent drop over a couple weeks right so always be careful if you're you know handling large positions you don't want your emotions taking the best of you you got you gotta like you gotta be patient with this um and move back up to the highs is already incredible but it you know at the peak mania at the peak euphoria phase can I see $40? I, th I think so, yeah. That's possible, that's possible. Don't get your hopes up too high though because we have to, we have to, we have a long ways to go, that's for sure. And 
I would focus on looking for the good intermediate signs, like holding this level, you know, starting to trend back up, taking out this high, you know, short-term stuff that would signify that this downtrend's over. So it gives you a little more confidence in your investment and also, you know, makes, makes you like see the vision a little bit more in the longer term. So anyways, that's my price prediction for this. And I really hope you guys enjoyed this. If you have any comments, feedback, I mean, just please share. Also, uh, please like and subscribe if you enjoyed. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you.